Hi, Dan Halsey here with United Designers and Southwoods Ecological Design. Uh, just talking about finding our new scale in our title block. So as you know, we use the 20 scale on our artwork layer, which is, uh, let's see if we get it here, over here. So this is a 20 scale, huge map uh, for us. And it's got a uh, long distance, it's 96 inches wide. So that's a pretty big space. Uh, I believe this whole area around here is about 10 feet by 10 feet. That's our actual drawing area, but I can use, I can do large designs <clears throat> at 20 scale so that our symbols, libraries, and our templates all match. So this is what I'm using, but then I import that into my title block to the paper size, which is 24 by 36. At that point, when I uh, place the artwork, I have to size it in, and usually I do that manually to fit into the space so I can, you can see here's the lot lines, the property lines in here and such. So I can fit this space nicely and as big as I can so we can have more detail and, and uh, actually show all of our solutions and our strategies uh, visibly on this map. And so things are too small. Uh, but at that sense now, I need to find out what my new scale is because I've basically reduced this um, to make it fit this area. So there's a couple things that I need to know in order to do that. First of all, I have to pick two spots to measure. Now in this case, I don't have lot lines. I don't have any documentation yet that actually tells me what these lot lines are. And I'll be probably putting those on later because I do all of my notes on the title block. I don't write text uh, or have text blocks on my artwork. I only do that on the title block because it gets changed. And I'm going to add those in here once I get that. But for the meantime, I need to find out what my scale is on here. So I have two points where this building here, which is probably a big trailer, the corner of that building to the peak of this house. So if I know I'm going to do that, I'm going to go into Google Earth, measure from the corner of this trailer, I think it is, building, to the peak of this house, and it's 994.84 feet. So I know that distance. So I go into Illustrator, and I make a note of that on here, 994.88 feet. And then I take my ruler and illustrator and I measure that same distance of what I have on here, and that's 12.526 inches. So I know my actual distance and I know that my what my screen distance is here or what the distance is when it's printed out at scale, what that would be, but I actually don't know what the scale is yet. That's what I'm trying to find out or if I need to make adjustments. So this is our scaling calculator that we have on you dying designers. And this mostly is helping us figure out our scale when we're working at 20 scale. So we put our distances on here and what kind of uh, magnification we need to use in order to have it fit at 20 scale when we're working. But in this time, what I'm trying to do is figure out what scale I'm at and we can use it in reverse. Most of the time we put in our actual distance. So that would be here anyway, 94.88, right? And I know what that is and then here, I'm going to put my present screen distance, this area down here between the two buildings, and that's 12.526, or 12.526. There we go. So at 20 scale, I would need to bring this up to a certain size. So basically, this is what I've, I've reduced it to fit on this page, and that basically to bring it back up to 20 scale, this is what I'd have to be. But what I'm I'm not really interested in what I need to do at 20 scale. I already know that because I've already been working in that. What I want to do now is figure out what scale makes this line that I have here, what scale is that line? And I can guess. So if I make A and B equal each other, then this is at 100%, then I'll know I have the right scale. So when I see it's 400% down here. Well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my, my scale up four times, which would be 80. Right? And now I'm pretty close. So I'm actually at 1 to 80, almost exactly 1 inch equals 80 feet. If these equaled 100%, then I would know I'd be right on. If this number matched that number, I would be right on too. I want to be at 1 to 80. That's a good. If it was 1 to 65 or 1 to 73 or something, then I want to make adjustments. And even here, I want to make that adjustment. So what I know I need to do is make my measurement of 12.526. 12.436. So I actually need that line to cover a shorter distance, which means I need to magnify this by 1%. So 101%. Uh, 
uh, I would put into uh, Adobe Illustrator on this, and that would bring these two numbers to match. But what's nice to know is that I have it close enough right now that when I put in 80 feet, I'm almost right on, and I just have to go make a slight adjustment here. If it was way off, if it was something else uh, that I wasn't so close when I put it in here at 400%, or reduced it by 25% to make it fit, then I'd have to do some messing around. But you need to get this scale number, something usable, uh, by tens, you know, 1 to 50, 1 to 60, 1 to 70, maybe 1 to 75, but really the, the tens are easier because we have 10 scale rulers, and it makes it uh, easier that way to work, and also with the math, all those kinds of things. It just makes it easier to have a, a very basic scale and make it fit to that scale. Extra room is great. Of course, if it's too big for the base map, then it's a problem, but if you can just make it a number that's usable and you have a little extra room, room we can always use that space for callouts and other things too. So the actual distance in the top yellow, the distance that you have on your screen in the bottom yellow, and then you change your scale to try and get this to 100%, and now you know what the scale is. Or put a scale that you want to use, which in this case 80, and it will tell me the percentage that I have to change in order to make it 80 from 12.526 to 12.436. It's just a slight change, but then I know my numbers will be correct and be right on. So that's another way of using our scale calculator. I hope that helps you. We use it in our initial artwork to size things correctly to 20 scale, and then we can also use it in our title block to find out what our actual scale is when it goes to print. Thanks. Have a good week. This is Dan Halsey with United Designers and Southwoods Ecological Design.